This is World Comics Review, and as you probably gathered, I live in Japan. When I came to Japan, I came on Vietnam Airlines, which was really cheap, but I had to wait in Hanoi for 16 hours. So I thought I might as well go and get some Vietnamese comics while I was there. And this is one of the ones I bought, Zizon Online Book 22. So this is kind of a pretty simple gag story. So, main character is Zizon, obviously, there's Matt To, Matt To, uh, his little sister, what I believe just says Zizon's dad and Zizon's mum, I guess two of his friends, and the long-suffering teacher. So, uh, kind of partly Archie, partly Dennis the Menace, UK version, with his, um, with B, mum and dad, and then his two friends, Curly and Pieface, and long-suffering teacher. At least when I was reading Dennis the Menace in the Beano in the 90s, he never actually seemed to go to school. Like He only went about two times in ten years. This is pretty similar to Archie Digests, which I've not actually done any of on this channel yet. Well, I've got a load of them, I probably should. So it's uh, stories about um, him doing weird things at school, annoying his sister, um, yeah, crazy things with his friends, so a bit of a... Yeah, flights of fancy about historical stuff, or um, being in the future, so yeah, he's a knight. Pretending to be a knight. Uh, rip off of Doraemon. Yeah, they really don't care about copyright in that part of the world, do they? So yeah, this is a pretty long story about him, I guess, being in the army cadets, or whatever the equivalent is over there. Ripped uniform. And, um... Yeah, so in the army cadets, and he has to write left and right on his hands to remind him which is which, but the sweat makes the writing come off. Yeah, they're, um, so army cadets, I guess they find something buried underground. More weirdness. Uh, yeah. Uh, wearing a rabbit costume, pretending to be a rabbit. Blah, blah, blah. Annoying his sister. Yeah, his sister wants to be kawaii. Like an anime character, but he thinks she looks like an alien. Uh, bullies, maybe? I don't know. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, going in the wrong toilet. Getting attacked by the female janitor. So, yeah, this is a uh, good little Vietnamese comic, which is not actually Vietnamese. I noticed, now that I look, it says here, so Chinese copyright 2010 by Yunnan Education Publishing House, or Vietnamese copyright 2012 by uh, Din Ti. Ding, ding. I can't read Vietnamese, as you probably guessed. Anyway, so how did I discover it was Chinese? Well, I don't really particularly, not particularly interested in looking at the copyright information. Well, I went to book off in Japan and found this. Just the camera. Right, I don't want to reveal the inside secrets about how I use masking tape to show what's in the frame. So yeah, this appears to be absolutely all of Zizon Online in its original Chinese. Uh, I'm not sure if it's from uh, Taiwan or Hong Kong where they use traditional or from the mainland where they use simplified. Uh, the characters here look pretty simple, simplified, but that could just be this right, this particular passage uses simple characters and this means China, a middle country, but um, yeah, both uh, China and Taiwan call themselves China. So yeah, this is, uh, as you can see, six pages on one page, so they can reprint every story up to volume 52 in about 600 pages worth of comic. And yeah, because it's called Zizon Online, these early ones have uh, like computer icons on each page, because it's online get it with computers and yeah it seems like the artwork wasn't particularly good it's a obviously clip art background uh just this generic photoshop texture put into the background uh his sister looks a lot more simple too but uh as you go on the artwork improves considerably this is a lot more cartoonish and yeah because this book is so huge it has a uh, different colored edges to the pages i guess saying you can uh, remember where you were, and uh, yeah, the artwork's greatly reduced to get six pages on one page, but uh, obviously Chinese 
can be shrunk down quite small and still be readable as long as it's legibly printed. Hint, hint, the uh, supply companies who used to supply where I used to work had uh, Chinese instructions but they just printed it really badly so these really complicated characters were just a, like a black square. And, uh, anyway, let's uh, get to the book I've got, volume 51, I think. I knocked the camera out of alignment last time too and I didn't notice, so this is the second take. I found it really easy on the first take. Right. Aha, uh -huh, here's the, the army story, so maybe you're wondering. Yes, he originally had single Chinese letters, meaning left and right, on his hand. There we are, left and right on his hand, but they still smudge out because of the sweat. But you can see uh, there's the lines in his hand, which in the Vietnamese edition are erased, because they had to completely scrub this out and then uh, recolour it and then uh, put the Vietnamese in. don't know why they couldn't have left the Chinese letters in and just put Vietnamese translations underneath, but um, maybe they were trying to disguise that it's not a, not a Vietnamese book like they used to do with manga when they were bringing that to America for the first time. They'd uh, try to make it look as American as possible. So yeah, this is a... Oh, he's got a box of explosive cigars. Right. Apparently, uh, all of these on online. Looks like the artwork gets more simple as you go along. I guess the artist was getting tired. So yeah, gigantic compilation tome. So yeah, if I could, uh, if I could read Chinese, this would keep me busy for a few hours. Uh, stories 1 to 1,288 by a uh, cat small something. And it cost a thousand yen. This cost uh, 22,500 dong, which is um, much less than a thousand yen actually. It's like, I don't know, maybe a hundred yen. Right, so yeah, Zizon Online, the uh, Chinese Archie or Dennis the Menace, UK version, or American version too, I guess. I don't really know much about the American Dennis the Menace. Anyway, that's it for today. So, whatever I can review next, what country will it be from?